evaluate the vector line integral over the closed curve C, where we have this given vector field F is defined by the components y squared plus 3x squared y and xy plus x cubed, and C is the closed path along the curves by the parabola, or the squaring function y equals x squared, and the line y equals 2x. So to get us started here, let's begin by recalling the circulation form of Green's theorem. So we know that Green's theorem provides us with a way to convert a vector line integral, which we can also define as the line integral over the closed curve C of the component f dx plus the component g dy. And this Green's theorem allows us to convert this line integral to a double integral over our region R of the curl of our vector field, which is the com partial derivative of g with respect to x minus the partial derivative of f with respect to y dA. And this is for our two-dimensional region R such that we can say that R is defined as the set of all ordered pairs, x, y, where x is greater than or equal to a, less than or equal to b, and y is greater than or equal to c, less than or equal to d, where a, b, c, and d are all real numbers. And we'll also want to keep in mind here while we're defining this definition, or this two-dimensional region R here in terms of x and y, we also know that polar coordinates is a fair option as well. So to get started, let's think about the region that's bounded by these curves. So we want to sketch this region R in R2. So let's find where these two curves are intersecting. And we have the parabola, x squared, and the diagonal line, 2x. So since y is equal to y, we can set them equal and say that y or excuse me x squared is equal to 2x. And we need to be sure to factor for our safety, so we bring everything to one side. We have x squared minus 2x is equal to 0. Now it's okay to start solving. We have x multiplied by x minus 2 is equal to 0. And we can see that these two curves are intersecting when x is equal to 0 and then again when x is equal to 2. So now that we've gone and found their intersection points, let's go ahead and sketch this region so we can define the bounds. So we have the x and y axes. So we'll say 1, 2, 3, 4 on our y axis, and then 1, 2 on the x axis. And we know that these two curves are going to intersect at the origin when x is 0, and then when x is equal to 2, which will produce the ordered pair 2, 4. So if we have the parabola passing through these points, this is y is equal to x squared. And then we also have the diagonal line passing through the origin as well as the point 1, 2, and 2, 4. So this is y is equal to 2x, and the bounded region is enclosed by these two curves. The sh shaded region here is r. And again, using the same idea as a cross section here, we can identify what's the upper bound and what's the lower bound of this region. So you can see the upper bound here is going to be the diagonal line, so this is our upper bound, and the lower bound is the parabolic region x squared. So you can say that therefore y is greater than or equal to x squared and less than or equal to 2x. And then we just have constant bounds for x. We have that x is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 2. And so these are going to be the bounds on our region R and R2. So the next thing that we want to do here in getting ready to apply Green's theorem is to compute the curl 
of our given vector field. And we'll keep in mind here that in two dimensions, or in R2, the curl of our vector field is defined as the partial derivative of g with respect to x minus the partial derivative of f with respect to y. So it's the integrand of that double integral. So we again were given our vector field defined by the components f and g. So f here is equivalent or is equal to y squared plus 3x squared y and g is given to us as xy plus x cubed. So finding the partial derivative of f with respect to y, we are left with 2y plus 3x squared. And taking the partial derivative of g with respect to x, we are left with y plus 3x squared. And so therefore, taking the difference to compute our curl, we have y plus 3x squared, and we're subtracting 2y plus 3x squared. And so we'll distribute this negative through to both pieces, which leaves us with y plus 3x squared minus 2y minus 3x squared. So we can see that the positive 3x squared, negative 3x squared will cancel each other out. And the curl we are left with is simply minus y. So we are ready now to compute the double integral. So we're going to set up and evaluate the double integral of Green's theorem. So we have taken the line integral over the closed curve C of the vector field dot the differential d vector r. And this is now the integral from 0 to 2, the integral from x squared to 2x of the curl, which is minus y dy dx. And we're ready to integrate here. So integrating with respect to x, we have the integral from 0 to 2 on the outside of minus y squared divided by 2, which we'll now evaluate from x squared to 2x dx. So I have the integral from 0 to 2 of minus 1 half multiplied by, so substituting in 2x, so we have 2x squared, which gives us 4x squared minus x squared squared, which is x to the fourth, dx. And now integrating with respect to x, we have minus 1 half of 4 thirds x cubed minus x to the fifth divided by 5 from 0 to 2. And we're ready to evaluate. So negative 1 half multiplied by 4 thirds multiplied by 2 cubed, which gives us 8, minus 2 to the fifth, which is 32 fifths. And then when we substitute 0 and everything disappears. So we have negative 1 half multiplied by 32 thirds, minus 32 fifths. And we can note that we could factor 32 out in front here. So I have minus 32 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 third minus 1 fifth. Of course, 2 goes into 32 16 times, and don't forget the negative. And then getting a common denominator for the inside here, we have negative 16 multiplied by 5 minus 3 over 15. So negative 16 multiplied by 2 over 15 for a beautiful final answer of 32 fifteenths.